Hello, 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 familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Have any good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldie with goodies. So, familia, today we're on the bougie side of things because as you guys saw in vlog 11, I literally just posted it. I got this PR package from YSL Beauty and look what is in here. These little quad eyeshadow palettes. There's four in the... PR box. So this is one. They're little quads. These are available at Sephora. So this is the shade 300. This is the shade 200. A little rust colors. This is the shade 100. And then the last one, 400 so pretty what i'm planning to do is use two of these quads on two separate days so i give you like a tutorial and see how the formula feels how it lasts because they're supposed to be like very long lasting i've never tried ysl eyeshadows before i've tried the why can i think oh my god this is my first time filming in like two days and i'm like wait what's happening i've tried the concealer and the foundation perfume i like their foundations i think their foundations bomb so let's see how this works i'm super excited i have nothing on my lids you guys know per the usual. i'm thinking of doing something natural i bought a new one of these why am i still using like the old one <laughs> talking about the vlog you guys I saw my little Target haul. I washed my hair today. We're gonna start with priming the lid just a little bit. Oh, this has good color. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on top. Primer, it's the e.l.f. primer. It really helps eyeshadows just stick down and also last a little longer. I have oily lids, so I need to put some sort of base on my lid. So let's let this dry down for like 10 seconds. I think I'm at a little bit of concealer, just a little bit to conceal a little more because the discoloration still kind of there. This is on top of that primer. And I like to like use my finger like this. And you see, look at that before and after. I'm gonna use the palette 300. It comes with these little things. I don't really use them. Let's see. You know how I feel about smaller palettes. I like them. Well, these are pigmented. I just feel like they're super easy to use wow dang this is pigmented you see that oh 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 hey, look pigment still on my fingers i mean it should you know for this almost 70 dollar price i'm gonna get this brush it's the smith 247 grab this shade right here oh my god look at that pigment and kind of just add it here on the crease okay look good a little bit of depth with the darker shade Maybe like right here. I don't want to do like a wing or maybe. You know, I always say that and then I end up doing like a whole wing. Let me just add like a little bit of depth here. I feel like this one's going a little patchy. Okay, okay. Look good. It looks good. And then maybe add a little bit, like a tad bit of concealer. Oh, the brush I was using was this one, number 15 from the Sephora collection. I'm using the same 15 brush. It's a different brush to spread out that concealer. And then let's add, let's add the shimmer right here. Let's tap it on. Reminded me of like a glitter. Yeah, a bit of a glitter. Sitch. You know what I kind of want to do? I want to get like a brush like this. This is Cosette S185. Got a little bit of depth here in the corner. I just don't want this to be so sharp right here. And then I'm gonna get this one again. Back in with the Cosette brush. Yeah, something like that. Like I wanna do a little bit of an eyeliner to make it darker. This is the Urban Decay one. It's their brown. But right, you guys know what I've been doing lately is grabbing an eyeshadow. While it's still kind of wet, you wanna just add that here. While this is pigmented, look, it just covered it up. Okay, I don't know if I kind of made a mistake. I wanna wet this and see how it goes on wet. Will it add more pop? And it does. Oh yeah, that's what we needed. Anytime you wet a shimmer, it will add some pop. Just don't wet it too much because then it could become patchy. You know, there's always a fine line with everything. Whereas I'm gonna get this shade and just blend a little more. 
I got some micellar water. This is the Kosar Rex micellar water. And just clean this up a little bit. There is a lot of fallout on this palette. Okay, you can see the brown wing a little bit, which is kind of what I wanted it to do just to give us depth. I like, I like. Let me just get in here really quick. I'm like right here in the crease of my eyeball where like that fold is. I feel like it's patchy, is it me? or what the formulas in these are very different from what i'm used to it's not a bad thing it's just different from what i'm used to but i've also never have used a ysl palette before for eyeshadow probably just how it is which is not bad this is it so let me do this eye and i'll be back All right, all right, all right, fam. Okay, peinadita and everything. Eyeshadow, where is it? Right here, I put it back in the box. So this is the look. The look is nice. I think it's very simple, it's classic, it worked out. Is it like the best eyeshadow palette I've seen? No, because the formula is very different. It's something that I'm pretty new at. It's very like this soft, buttery, yet yeah, very much loose feel. I typically, I'm used to pigment and eyeshadows that kind of don't have a lot of fallout and really just stick and adhere down to your lid. This didn't really do it and it kind of blends away a little bit, but I really feel like that's the type of formula that it is. It's not something that just really sticks on. It's something that a little wash of color you can use with your fingers, something easy like that. And I feel like this is the type of effortless makeup that especially these very high-end brands are about. Like if you've noticed, they don't ever come out with huge palettes. It's always like a quad. It's always like a, you know, the Dior palettes. I think those are like nine shades. So I just feel like that's the vibe of YSL. Is it bad? Not at all, but it's definitely different. For me, it was like, wait, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Is it good? Do I like it? Overall, I do like it. I think it worked out very well. The look is just very simple. It's just very effortless, you know, and that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get anything cut creasy, something bright, something extremely pigmented. That's not the vibe I get with these. But of course, I will be here tomorrow and create another look with another palette. I'm thinking of using the purples because that's very different from like the other shades i picked up the wrong palette not this palette i was using palette this one you know what i mean though this is it i will insert the footage here the new ysl couture mini clutch eyeshadow palette each retail for 68 dollars they come in four shades this is a couture eyeshadow quad featuring four eyeshadows with high pigment payoff and a soft oil enriched formula for up to all day wear the highlighted ingredients is coffee seed sweet almond and big cactus oil to add soft textures and long lasting yet gentle stain power available at Sephora. Okay, fam, back day number two using YSL number 400. I did the look very similarly, but this time I did use all the shades. This one was a little bit better. It had less fallout and it was less of that looseness that I was talking to you about. I used the purples too because I wanted to see the formula to see if it was patchy and look, none of this is patchy. Everything just blended out very, very nicely. So I do feel like the formula does change with the shades and I'm surprised that the purple one is very, 
very nice. I feel like it's smoother than the first one that I used, which is 300, which was this one. It did last all day long. Literally, I wore my makeup for about 10 hours. The eyeshadow pigment was beyond beautiful. Today, I'll try to do a wear test maybe with this one for like five, six hours, just so you can see. It's still gloomy. It was raining yesterday. I didn't know it was even gonna rain. So I feel better about the palette, especially using them more. I feel like my review still stands like yesterday. And back to the outro. Overall, I really like it. I think it worked out well. Turning off the lights, this is how it looks. Pretty good, right? Is it like the best? Is it worth the $68? Honestly, it's very pricey for what you get. Getting four shades, you're paying for this little clutch looking thing, which is very beautiful. It's stunning. It's very pricey for what you get, I think so. So if you want something like equivalent to this, I would honestly get the Mario palette. It is, I think it's the same price. This may be a little bit more. You obviously get more shades here, but I think it's very similar in sort of feel and vibe, like that sophisticated, effortless look you get with this Mario palette. This one is, this one specifically, what is it called? The ethereal palette. The moment I open this up and the other ones, I'm like, wait, it reminds me of Mario's palette. So if you're looking for a palette you can use every day, I would definitely suggest Mario. This isn't bad. You're definitely gonna pay a high price for something that is good quality, but it's a little bit different, you know? So let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.